Okay, in this video we're going to have a look at the error checking um, method known as majority voting. Now, majority voting is a um, is a fairly rudimentary way of checking whether there's been an error in some data that's been sent. And the, the format in which you send it is that you send each bit of data three times. What happens is, is that when the data reaches the other end um, in the computer system, the uh, computer performs literally a majority vote. So two ones will outweigh one zero, two zeros will outweigh one 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 and so on to rebuild the actual data that's been sent through the actual computer system. So let's say we've got an example here um, of uh, tr 1011, which we can see is our example on this screen. What would actually be sent is triple one, triple zero, triple one, triple one, in theory. However, what could happen is we might get some of our data transmitted where we end up with, uh, let's say, instead of triple one, we have one zero one. So the majority vote would work out that it would then take a situation of, uh, well, two ones versus one zero indicates that's the value I take, um, and then it works its way and so on down the line. So let me show you a nice example um, of how this can work. And I'll sort of just draw you one out really uh, would be the best way to do it. So let's say we want to transmit the, the data 1, 0, 1, 0. So computer will then send this bit three times, 1, 1, 1, this bit three times, what, 0, 0, 0, and this one three times, 1, 1, 1, and then finally this one as well. Now, in theory, that's what's been sent. However, what might actually be received at the other end is we might end up with 101, one. we might end up with 001, zero, zero, 110, one. Uh, one, one, and then maybe that one's gone for absolutely fine. Now this is fairly common to, to have a situation where this might arise because wireless communication might be interfered with um, if there's lots of other devices in, in an area that's causing that. Um, could be a whole multitude of different reasons why the, the values have been incorrectly um, have been incorrectly transmitted over the communication line. But what's received at the other end is it's the majority. So in this case, we have a one. In this case, we have a zero. In this case, we have a one. And in this case, we have a zero. So all is well with this data that's been transmitted. With majority voting though, it is only error checking. Um, it is not error detection, it's not error um, isolation or any way it can't find if there's where the error specifically is within the actual um, within the actual uh, binary values that have been transmitted. It does just allow you to sort of um, increase your chances of communicating a piece of data correctly. Now there are some flaws of it. Uh, the first thing being is well, if two or more bits have switched around within that block of three, um, well, you're going to get the wrong binary digit and send returned at the other end. And then secondly, it's about data volumes as well. You're sending three times the amount of data, which means the computer has to deal with three times the amount of data, which could cause a slowing down um, on a computer network or on a computer system if it's having to deal with all of this at the um, at the same time. 